Hello guys, that name from Dan Stoke, and today's video guys, I'm going to be revisiting the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. Now this is a high-end dual tower cooler from Be Quiet, and hence our company name, our company that makes very quiet products. Now, I have... I have already reviewed this product uh, about a year ago, but I wanted to remake and kind of revisit this product just essentially because I didn't think that video was up to the best of quality and since now that I do have a lot more camera gear and just a lot more experience in making video reviews, I just wanted to revisit this colour because I am soon going to be making a comparison against this one. Um, also a one from Cryorig, the NH, the D15 from Noctua and also another one which I can't remember the name of. Uh, oh yes, the Riven Okinox, that is as well, the dual tower cooler. So before I can bring that uh, that actual comparison video, I do need to revisit the review of this one and also go over some new benchmarking on the i7 4790K and also just do some sound tests so I have all the material ready for that comparison video. So without further ado, we're going to be checking out this dual tower cooler from Be Quiet and um, yeah, we're going to see how quiet it really is. As mentioned, this is a revisit, so not all original packaging is present, but as an overview, inside the box you get the cooler itself, a 120 and 135mm fan already attached, in addition to all the mounting hardware including a thick metal backplate and a syringe of thermal compound. The cooler is packaged exceptionally well with the inclusion of lots of soft foam, adding a sense of quality to the cooler. Onto the colour itself, the colour's design is a large dual tower colour with dual fans. The total dimensions of the unit with the two fans attached is 163mm in height, 137mm in width and 150mm in length. A tad different to what's written on the box, where that states the height is 150mm. The total weight of the cooler with both fans attached is just under 1.2 kilograms. The aluminium towers feature many aluminium fins with seven copper heat pipes passing through the fin stack. On the left sides of the fin stacks, there are rubber strips to help absorb vibrations from the spinning fans. For aesthetics, the cooler has been fully nickel plated in a dark coating and it's nice to see such a nice looking and built cooler in general. The build quality is overall excellent and with the solid brushed aluminium slit on top, and heat pipe caps covering the ends of the heat pipes, you can really tell you are getting a premium product. Moving on to the included fans, Be Quiet include two of their own Silent Wings fans. One is a 120mm fan and the other a 135mm fan. These are really premium fans and Be Quiet do also sell these separately at many retailers like Amazon. The larger fan is ready to run at a maximum of 1400 RPM, with the 120mm fan ready to run at 1700 RPM max. Both fans are 4-pin PWM and the 120mm fan includes a splitter cable, so both fans will only take up a single 4-pin header on your motherboard. Moving on to the installation of the Dark Rock Pro 3, overall it was horrendous, using the manual that is. Now the manual essentially wants you to install the backplate first, then to place the cooler on top of your board and screw this in with the tiny wrench included. This is easily the worst mounting procedure I've ever been presented with. Now to my pleasant surprise, ignoring the manual completely and placing the cooler upside down and installing the cooler from underneath your board really does change the installation process. That's from a very difficult and frustrating procedure to a relatively easy one. Once you flip the cooler upside down, you want to install the back plate and screw the cooler into place. Be sure that you've attached the mounting bars to the cooler and that you've also applied thermal compound to the processor beforehand. Now I've got the installation out of the way, we can speak performance. Now as this cooler is a dual tower cooler, I decided to run the standard high performance benchmark, that's uh, running the Adobe Premiere Pro video render test on the i7-4790K of all cores overclocked to 4.4GHz with the automatic voltage. Now the cooler scored a relatively low 71 degrees, and as I'm running the CPU at stock 4GHz, the cooler scored 56 degrees. Although these results are not exactly groundbreaking, the noise levels at stock speeds were. There's no real difference between running this cooler at load or at idle. That's pretty impressive. Now considering the price, this is definitely impressive, as many dual tower coolers do cost more and generally don't look as good as this one. I would have performed a sound test but believe there was no real need. When I release my high-end CPU cooler comparison video in the coming weeks, I'll be sure to compare this cooler to the Noctua NHT15, Reven Oconos, Deep Cool Assassin 2 and Cryorig R1, including a sound comparison. Anyhow, let's conclude. So peeps, that's my review of the Datrock Pro 3. Overall, very, very impressed. Now, even though it isn't the best performing cooler in the world, one thing that I've, I'm going to definitely go over in my comparison video, yeah, th this isn't the best performing, but it is a very, very quiet solution, and in my opinion, does look extremely good with its dark nickel, nickel, dark nickel plating, and also it's uh, very, very nice, uh, just just a big slab of al 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 aluminium, yes. I always want to say aluminum, it really drives me crazy, but yeah, they've very, very nice metal slit there which has the logo on and does have a lot of end caps there. 
for the heat pipes. So overall, a very, very nice looking cooler. It, it does perform well for the price and it's just a very, very quiet and good looking solution. So as always, guys, you will find links to the product uh, in Amazon in the description and also a link to BeQuiet's website. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.